We saw records, of course, broken in qualifying. A course record at 169.297 as the Miss Budweiser with Chip Hanar wins the Winston Select Lap Award for this event. Of course, the top three point getters throughout the whole year always look for the big O'Doul shootout with top money. The three winners this year, Miss Budweiser, Winston Eagle, and Kellogg's. And that's the way they stand in national high points going into today's event. And for the play-by-play -play call of yesterday's event, here's Dick Trippin. Thank you very much, Jim. And as two boats come down to the line, we learn that the Winston Eagle was unable to take the start. So it's going to be the Kellogg's Frosted Flakes on the outside and the Miss Budweiser on the inside. It's going to be Budweiser with the advantage going into the turn. Chip Hanauer powering on. And there inside the cockpit, you can see those buoys as they fly by to his left. Chip Hanauer doing a great job holding it in there. It's always tough on the inside boat. He can't veer out and cut off the other boat, not unless there's at least five boat lanes between them. And obviously, at this point, there is nowhere near five boat lanes between these two. Kellogg's Frosted Flakes on the outside doing a great job at driving. Mike Hansen being sucked up just a little bit on the back stretch by the Miss Budweiser as, again, Chip Hanauer powers on. And we take a look at that boat going through the turn. A great job of driving for the Miss Budweiser. Chip Hanauer, Bernie Little out of Lakeland, Florida, owner of that boat. And, of course, the Budweiser with a good lead now. This is only a three-lap sprint. And the first lap speed, 164. Point five six seven. Great aerial shot from our South Seas helicopter as we look down on the Hawaiian waters, and it is the Miss Budweiser churning him up to advantage this time. Miss Budweiser still in the lead. Chip Hanauer checking the rear view mirror to his left, making sure that he's got plenty of room on the buoys, and then he checks off to the right to make sure that he's got the Kellogg's Frosted Flakes where he wants them off his hip. Miss Budweiser, Chip Hanauer, out of the Seattle, Washington area, doing a great job at driving. This is the O'Doul's shootout. The three top boats were invited, the top point getters over the year. The only boat not answering the call was the Winston Eagle. And I'm sure that Steve Woomer and that team is hoping that this is not a prediction of things to come today with that tight race for second place in the High Point Championship run. No question about first place in this race. There's the checkered flag out for the Miss Budweiser, Chip Hanauer, out of Seattle, Washington, driving the boat owned by Bernie Little of Lakeland, Florida. And he takes the win. Here's the O'Doul's shootout finish. Miss Budweiser first, Kellogg's Frosted Flakes second. Winston Eagle did not start. Let's go to Jim in the pits. Down here at the Budweiser camp, the winner of the O'Doul shootout, Chip Hanauer. Chip, looks like you were traveling a little fast for a shootout. Well, these mean a lot to us. You know, there's a lot of money at stake, and there's also bragging rights. And, you know, a race is a race. Everybody on this beach is a racer, and if you put them in anything for a quarter, it'd be a boat race. So we, every time we put the Budweiser in the water, it's to win. Bernie, you have, of course, sewed up the O'Doul's High Point Championship with Chip here and your boat and your crew, and they've done a fine job. What's the run for here in Hawaii? Well, I think Chip just said it all. Uh, you know, first off, it's pride, and pride in our crew and our driver and uh, and, uh, and and what we've accomplished all year long. And then to come to the O'Doul shootout, we have to win that because, you know, that's in the family. Where are you going to get anything better than O'Doul's? We're getting ready for more action as the boats are heading out on the course for our first heat of the day. We'll be back in a moment. Back here at Honolulu, Hawaii, getting set for Heat 1A. Look at the rain. It's starting to come in off the mountains, and we're all set to go in the lane one. It'll be Spirit of Hawaii with rookie Ken Dryden at the wheel. The T-Plus with Steve David will slot lane number two. In lane three, Mike Hansen and the Kellogg's Frosted Flakes. Lane four, the other rookie in the field, Mike Eklund in Oh Boy, Oh Birdo. On the outside in lane five, Mark Evans in the American Spirit. We're all set to go, and here's the play-by-play -play call. Dick Crepin, get him to the line. Thank you very much, Jim. As we look, we see five boats coming down. The Spirit of Hawaii trailing back in the mist there, the mist of the rooster tails. Lane number two, your lead boat is the Miss T plus Stephen David out of Fort Lauderdale, Florida. He's being challenged on the outside by the Kellogg's Frosted Flakes. We saw that the Kellogg's very strong in the O'Doul shootout, now challenging for the lead against the T-plus. A great shot inside from our onboard camera of the T-plus and what Stephen David sees. Well, in addition to the rain on his canopy, Steve David sees the Kellogg boat take the lead here at Heat 1A. That is not good news for Steve Woomer and the Winston Eagle crew. They don't want that boat to make any points. 
The boat on the inside with the advantage on the turns as they come up on the turn. If Steve David is going to make a move on the Kellogg's Frosted Flakes, he's going to have to do it now. But you can see he closed it down just a little bit. But the boat on the outside, Kellogg's Frosted Flakes, was able to hold his speed, and he's going to slingshot him on the front straight. Remember, this is a three-lap sprint, and at the end of lap number one, it's Kellogg's the leader at an average speed of 152.784. Great job of driving by Mike Hansen of Madison, Indiana, in the boat owned by some 13,000 citizens of Madison, Indiana, now in the lead, and you can see that boat in the center of your screen. That's the rooster tail ahead of the T-plus from the onboard camera. There outside is Stephen David, and he's really fighting hard. The boat's holding well on the water, but he just can't get the straightaway speed to catch the Kellogg's Frosted Flakes. And it's getting a little bit misty here in Hawaii. And that's the first time in the four-year history of the Outrigger Hydrofest we've had this type of water. We're going to have a battle now for third place. Coming on strong on the inside, the rookie Mike Egrid and old boy Alberto getting inside of the American Spirit, driven by Mark Evans. Mark Evans trying to hold him off, but it looks like Egret's going to go by on the inside. Mike Egret and the old boy Alberto taking over third place, but can he hold it on the outside? Mark Evans in the American spirit has tied him up again as they come out of the finish of the turn. It's going to be an even Stephen battle for third place. No question about the leader. The leader is the Kellogg's Frosted Flakes. To give you an idea of how far ahead he is, let's go inside the T-plus and look off to the left side of your screen, and you can see that route to tail far in the distance. Mike Hansen and the Kellogg's Frosted Flakes winner in San Diego trying to keep that momentum going here today in Hawaii. And the boat that was running third, oh boy, Oberto, Mike Egret, it is now Obreco will DNF. But how about that Kellogg's boat? Mike Hansen doing everything that's asked of him to try to overtake the Winston Eagle for second in the point. And as the Kellogg's Frosted Flakes comes out of the final turn, he looks up to the starting tower and he sees the checkered flag. The winner of the race, Kellogg's Frosted Flakes. He won in San Diego. He wins the first race here in Hawaii today. A great moment for Mike Hansen. Second place off to Steve David in the T+. -plus. So here's your finish. First place is the Kellogg's Frosted Flakes, followed by Miss T+, -plus, then the American Spirit in third, Spirit of Hawaii in fourth. Oh boy, Alberto did not finish. Down here with Mike Hansen. Now, Mike, there's points for qualifying, so you lost some ground in qualifying the last couple of days. But with this 400 points here, you're darn near within 100 points of striking distance of second place. Yeah, once is uh, started this race 500 points ahead, you're correct there. Uh, we got to try to catch them somehow. It's going to be hard to do it on a race course, especially when you don't even draw them. So hopefully uh, they'll run into some mishaps and give us a break as long as we run consistent and end up getting first place as the Kellogg's just did. It, it'll be great for us. As Chip Hanauer gets ready for Heat 1B, let's go to Steve Montgomery with second place. Steve David in the Miss T Plus, a good start, but uh, Mike Hansen ran away from you. What happened? Yeah, Frosted Flakes was running great. He had him in the first turn, and he just uh, really took off out of there, so we got some work to do to uh, get ready for the next set of heats. You're going to have to go faster? Yeah, the T Plus has to. We only average, I think, 147, and we need to be in the high 150s to win this thing, but as you know, the T Plus kind of gets progressively better at the end of the day and, and blows them all away. As we look at the Arizona Memorial, a big attraction for all the tourists that come to Hawaii, let's get down to Steve Evans. Anytime the Unlimited's race in saltwater, i.e. Miami, San Diego, here in Honolulu, a lot of the teams extend the air intake, clear out over the cockpit. They're trying to avoid getting salt water into the intake. Unlike fresh water that just turns to steam, while well, the salt remains behind and fuses to the turbine blades and causes big problems called compressor stall. Well, the Winston Eagle boat, they've taken a different tack, and I call it the trap door. Mark Tate in the cockpit when he gets out on the course and he's ready to get the boat up on plane, he pushes a button. There's an air cylinder and an air bottle down here that slams this open for full power. When they're just idling around, well, it gets enough through the back to help the engine run. Now, a problem with this, the tie boat also has this same situation. In San Diego, he pushed the button and it didn't open. The tide boat and Winston Eagle heading the field as Heat 1B will be underway momentarily from the RC Cola Unlimited Hydro Plane Series in Honolulu, Hawaii. We'll continue in a moment. Welcome back, everyone, to the Outrigger Hotels Hydrofest here in Pearl Harbor. Lots of activities and opportunities for race fans, including a chance to tour a Navy battleship. But right now, it's time for the start of Heat 1B. Jim Hendricks set the field. All right, it's Miss Budweiser in lane one with Chip Hanauer. In lane number two, it'll be Winston Eagle with Mark Tate. In lane number three, we'll see the Tide with Nate Brown. Lane number four will be Miss Sprint with Jerry Hopp, U19. This is the hometown boat. 
In late five, it'll be Kawhi Aloha with Mike Jones at the wheel. Miss Budweiser in lane number one, leading five boats down. The pace boat is on the outside, Kuai Aloha. And there is the start of the race. The green flag has flown. Miss Budweiser taking the lead. Lane number two, Winston Eagle. Here's inside the Miss Budweiser. This is not always the favorite lane for Chip Hanauer. He'd like to be a little bit further out on the course, but he does a good job holding Miss Budweiser on the buoy line. He is in the lead position right now with the Winston Eagle second. Tide boat is third. And the pressure certainly on Mark Tate in lane to the Winston Eagle. Here we see Chip Hanauer. He's a busy guy. His right foot controlling 3,000 horsepower. His left foot on a pedal that controls a couple of canard fins just forward of the cockpit alongside both sponsors to trim it out down the straightaway using the aerodynamics to help the performance of the boat. It looks like as he comes into the turn, he's not having to use the canards just yet. The water's not roughed up. Tied now in second place. Winston Eagle has dropped back to third, still in the lead position. It is the Miss Budweiser with Chip Hanauer. Those are the top three boats as they come around completing lap number one. And with the Kellogg's Frost and Flakes winning Heat 1A, the pressure is on the Winston team to also have a good showing here in 1B. But the Winston is starting to lag back now as the lead for second place by this boat, the tide has increased. If you look at the rooster tails off of these boats, you'll see good ones and bad ones. This is a bad one off of the Winston Eagle boat. A little bit of problem there. That's an indication how the rooster tail is. This one has become very erratic, and it's dropped down a bit. Back in fourth place, it's the Kauai Aloha. Mike Jones driving that boat. There again is the Winston Eagle, and you can see the rooster tail steadied out just a little bit, but he's still back in position. Miss Sprint in fifth place is Jerry Hopp. Here's the inside shot from the Miss Budweiser, the lead boat. And the lead boat, Miss Budweiser, lap number one, 161.641. That's flying. Very good speeds for the Miss Budweiser, and she's riding pretty steady on the water. But I noticed, Steve, she's got the canard wings in operation now, trying to hold that nose down. Absolutely. And what a disappointment this heat is for Mark Tate and the Winston Eagle. After qualifying number two at 166 miles an hour, spirits were fairly high. But right now, they got to be wondering, the tie boat is stronger than they are, the butt boat is stronger than they are. Almost everybody in this heat is stronger than they are. And you'd alluded to the fact earlier that the tie boat had problems in San Diego. No problems for that boat here today so far. No problems either for the Miss Budweiser. Chip Hanauer very confident out in the lead of this race. And you know, you would think on a huge two and a half mile course like this with very broad corners that you'd scrub off a lot of speed. Normally your records come on a course with long straightaways and very quick turns where you're in them and out of them. Not here in Pearl Harbor. Maybe it's a saltwater little uh, added bite from the prop of the dense water. They are flying here. And it is a flying finish for the Miss Budweiser. Chip Hanauer taking the win. Heat 1B. A good job of driving he led literally from start to finish, had a little bit of competition at the start line, but that was the last he saw of it. He held his boat out in front. Now the competition is the tied boat for second place. He's holding on to it as they exit turn number four, but coming up on the inside, Winston Eagle. There's your leader as he starts to slow it down on the course, but look at the battle for second place. Tied boat is just going to come up. Is he going to hold it in there? The tied boat takes it, but just by about half a boat length over the Winston Eagle. A great finish in Heat 1B. Miss Budweiser, the Tide, Winston Eagle, Kauai Aloha, and Miss Sprint. That's the order of finish. Chip Hanauer came back, asked how fast he went, just got word a new course record for three laps, 158 plus. Looked like a pretty good boat ride. Really good boat ride. And the boat ride's only a reflection of the people. You know, they've just given me a great boat this weekend, and I just hope it stays that way through the day. You took lane one, which you don't always do because of the big turns. Looked like it worked out well. Worked out good. It's always a gamble going in lane one because there's a lot of bad things that can happen to you in there. So you have to be a little bit careful. But we came here to be aggressive, and this was a good chance to try it. I think I might try it again. Bernie, if the whole day goes like this, our blood pressure will be just fine, huh? Yeah, it really will. Uh, we were looking for a 170-mile-an-hour lap in competition, and uh, I don't know when he's going to do that, but we got to do that before we leave. He, he always wants more. And I tell you what, you win the race and we set a lap record, but he still wants to go 170. <laughs> Put Bernie on one of these things and let's see how he does. All right, Mark Tate, he started slow but finished fast in the last heat. Jim Hendrick is with him. Still a very close race for that second place position in the Odules Championships. And Mark, uh, something let you down here. What happened? 
basically we had some type of malfunction with the controls of the motor and it just laid down and wasn't performing the way it should have and uh, it's not the position the Winston Eagle wanted to be in and hopefully we can make corrective actions and uh, be a little stronger in the next seat here. And I see that you've drawn the Budweiser the next seat and you're also way out in the outside lane four that's not too favorable. No it's not we had a real tough heat the next seat with Kellogg's and T plus in there and Budweiser and they're all tucked inside of us and we'll be the pace boat and the starter and uh, you know hopefully we can get a real good start and a good jump on them and it might have to be a little strategy we might need to play.